mentioned can be found at the railway station at Iwowo Osada in Poland. Today this is a village of less than 3,000 people or so. Indeed it was always a village but it was once a railway station which was very important and the reason for this is because it was the border station between the Russian and German empires and as such hundreds of thousands of emigrants from Russian territories passed through here on their way to America. So if your ancestors come from Russia or Poland and you live in America or indeed perhaps somewhere else in Europe there is a very good chance that your ancestors passed through this railway station. Indeed I think the chance is something like one in four and if you've got two ancestors then of course the chances get even better. Bearing that in mind the railway station at Iwovo is a good location for a historical steam engine however this one is not so historic as may be hoped as this is a post-war model. It is the TY45 steam locomotive which was manufactured from 1946 and weighs 97 and a half tons. Construction of this steam engine was based on the Polish pre-war TY37 locomotive although the TY45 had a closed driver's compartment and a large tender which took the form of a half barrel and was adapted from the German 52 locomotive series built during the war from 1942 to 1945 and used in Poland as the TY2 series. Here you can see a TY2 which is on display outside the railway station at Jabłonowo Pomorski in northern Poland. I have done a separate video on this engine. Production of the TY45 began in 1946 at the Sigielski works in Poznan where a total of 258 units were built and at the Fablok plant in Szanów which built 170 units. The Polish State Railways PKP took 428 locomotives and 20 went to industrial concerns. The tenders were built by Pafawag. Initially, the TY45 steam locomotive was used to run heavy trains with coal and iron ore from Silesia to the Baltic ports, thus replacing trains with less pulling strength. However, during operation, it turned out that in many cases, the TY45 boiler power was insufficient for the needs and capabilities of the steam engine. This resulted in pressure drops in the boiler and reduced performance. A solution was a found in equipping some models with a mechanical cold feeder, known as a stoker, which facilitated the work of the crew. Some steam locomotives, which were based at the locomotive sheds at Zajonczkowiczewski, Torun and Białystok, were adapted in 1964 to 1965 to use Matsut, which outside the Soviet bloc was normally termed as waste oil. 
In 1946, the Polish government acquired 100 TY246 steam engines from the United States, which went into service in October 1947. Combining experience from the two, in the mid-1950s, the Polish TY51 locomotives were built, which were the heaviest steam engines built in this country. And that is a different subject, which I may return to in a another video. I appreciate that if you've come here, you probably know far more about steam engines than I do. I'm a historian, that's more what I know about, not engineering. Therefore, you may have some interesting comments to write down below. Please do so, I read all the comments and uh, I'll be glad to see what you have to say on this subject. Thanks very much for listening.